plaintiff, Keith Sessions, says he wasted four years of his life dating the defendant. Keith claims the defendant is jealous and insecure, and as a result, she vandalized his property. And he has the video to prove it. Keith is suing his ex for the damaged property. Defendant Sophia Scott admits that she would get angry at Keith when he would stay out until the middle of the night. But she insists Keith is jealous, controlling, and physically abusive. Sophia says she only damaged Keith's property after he dumped a bucket of water on her. And she's countersuing for emotional distress. Start with you. I feel like I wasted four years of my life with this woman who's very jealous, insecure. She stalks me. She brings people to try to jump me just by her insecurity. Always accusing me of being with somebody else when all I do is go to work and want to come home. All right, when did that start? How long after dating? I say within like six or seven months into the relationship. So you dealt with it for three and a half years, and knowingly? I, I feel like I kept on giving her a chance. I kept forgiving her. To be honest with you, I did fall. I, I did. I loved her. Okay. If she just see a woman around, I'm just doing something. Around where? Anyway, if I go to the grocery store or something and, and there's a woman in the grocery store. And I'm, I'm gonna buy something to eat, I mean, or some grocery place person, some groceries, and they're gonna be like, how you doing, baby, or uh, sweetheart? That'll make us go crazy. I mean, somebody don't so even So when go. you go grocery shopping, <laughs> the women walk up to you no, and say, how about, you doing, sweetheart, baby? <laughs> no, the person, the, the cust, um, the runner, the cashier, the, um, the register, yeah, she they would say, be like, how you doing, baby? How you doing, honey? How you doing, honey? Something like that, older okay, lady or something. Well, Okay, well, they never say that to me. Me neither. Well, so you get that? No. All right, so maybe you know that's why, because most cashiers don't say, hey, baby, and sweetheart, and <laughs> they be old, honey, older and... People. Well, the old women like young men. What are you talking about? <laughs> you just been going to the Cougar Cash Register. <laughs> I bet they love to see you coming, Doc. Yeah, yeah, he ain't come, baby. Yeah. <laughs> they, they fight over you at the cash yeah, register. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you had a little old lady. No, oh, you come over here. No, yeah. you come over here. <laughs> You just been going to the Cougar Cash Register. <laughs> I bet they love to see you coming, Doc. He ain't come, baby. They, they fight over you at the cash register. You had a little old lady. No, oh, you come over here. No, you come over here. <laughs> Defendant Sophia Scott is being sued by her ex-boyfriend, who claims after an argument, Sophia vandalized his home, his furniture, and his clothing, and he has the video to prove it. Give me another example. <laughs> I'm talking about of uh, uh, the, uh, the women. Yes. I got witness reports. I got reports and all. Let you know. I'm talking. She go crazy. She see her around. What reports do you have? Exactly? I have witness statements. Here go one right here. Let's see it, please. But he didn't want to see it on here. He go another one. I mean, a lot, of, a lot of them... Um, I notice a pattern of jealousy and irrational behavior on Sophia's part, including her keying his car and bleaching his clothes. We gonna get there. Okay, there's another one. I have known Keith before he came, became a couple, and he's always been well-grounded and pretty organized. When he moved in, I started to see his life started to go downhill due to him being kicked out by Sophia constantly. Seems like he was getting put out every other week. <laughs> all right. Uh, Ma'am, he says you all have, um, you've had a turbulent relationship due to your jealousy. But you want to give me some background on the relationship? He's 13 years older than me. You know, he act like a little child sometimes. He hits me. And about how many times per year did that happen? You sound like you saying it happened multiple times. Yeah, twice out of the four it, years. Twice out of the entire four years? Yes, sir. Okay. And what He's a jealousy person. He's Pardon? controlling. Mm -hmm. These uh, letters with character statements or witness statements mm -hmm. suggest that you um, destroy his property when you get angry and you put him out all the time. Put him out, that's the uh, issue with him because he he don't want to be home on time. He come home <laughs> what late. What time is that? <laughs> I would say about three or four o'clock okay. in the morning. That's you know what I'm saying? And I, and I don't that's like, reasonable. I don't like to have a man coming home at no four o'clock in the morning, okay. three o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, if, if I'm in a relationship with you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like you want to do that, go out there and stay with that person you want to be with. 
Don't come home so here. Why couldn't he be out playing cards? Or doing just, something other than being with women? I mean, if he is, it is cool. Let me know. You still put Talk him to out. me. Oh, no. okay. Talk you, to me. You, Let okay. me know. All right, sir, tell me about the lawsuit. Your Honor, on the, um, on the night, on the early, early morning of the 14th of September, um, we got into an argument because of I got paid late. I had got paid late, and I was supposed to pay. I paid, we paid half on the rent every month. We paid half on the rent. And so my boss man paid me late. And the thing is, though, we was going to have a late fee, and I would let my boss man know. I said, man, I, I can't afford that. I need the money to go ahead and pay this bill. So I talked to her a week a week in advance, let her know that. Why you call it boss man? Just call him the boss. I, I talked to the boss. I'm just used to saying it like that. Yeah, I don't get used to saying that. Get unused to saying okay, that. Okay, okay. I talked to the boss. Boss man. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Old. Boss man, you got my <laughs> check this week. All right, I got you, I got Mr. you. Mr. Boss man, you look short this uh, week. Okay. Can, 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 can right, I right. somehow, uh, if it's all right with you, if you don't mind, can I have my full pay? Okay. <laughs> oh, man. He said, where's my money? <laughs> and he worked 40 hours. I want all my that's money. Right, that's right, that's right. Now, you can call him sir. That's respectful to your boss. Sir, I'd like my money. That's right. Sir or Mr. So-and-so. I not know Mr. Boss Man. <laughs> I didn't say it like that, Your Honor. I didn't all say right, it like well, you calling him Boss Man in here, and I don't like it. I got you, I got you. But, all right, oh, go so the thing ahead. Was, Everybody else called, never mind. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> You don't call me Mr. Boss, man. That might not sound I bad, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I'll be all Lord have mercy. Go ahead, right, man. You, you threw me off with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you were paid late, and then how does this relate to your property? Because Tell me what happened. A week before that, I let her know that I was getting paid late because of the boss, he messed up. There you go. <laughs> there you go, the boss. He up there you go. Us. He messed the whole company up, so I let her know it was going to be late. So she got upset with me and was like, hold on, I need the money now. Are we going to have this late fee? Are we going to have this late fee? I need the money now. I said, don't worry about it. I'm going to get the money from the boss. I talked to him. He going to go ahead and pay the late fee for us. Don't worry about it. So that's how the whole thing started without arguing right there, because she's acting like she don't know what's okay, going how on. Did you, how were your things destroyed? Because we arguing, we arguing hard now. And since some, she didn't like what I said, she didn't like what I said, she started tearing up stuff. Tearing up stuff in the house. Cutting up everything, slashing this, tearing up. She messed around. Look how small she is. Told my phone up. I say, well, you know what? I can, I'm not going to people door trying to get some, somebody to help me. Because I know she, I'm trying to get somebody to help me. So then nobody want to open the door. You did right. You did right. I'm, I'm trying, glad I'm trying, to hear that's help, what man, you did. Mm -hmm. Then nobody want to open the door. So I had to walk. <laughs> <laughs> so I had walked from the apartment by 8 minutes to 7-Eleven to go ahead and get me a phone. Because I used a 7-Eleven phone to call the police. And when they, she said, call them. I'm going to be here when they get here. So when I called them and I came back, she was gone. She was gone. And I told them the whole story. Well, I'm so glad you responded like that and you didn't return violence with violence. She didn't like what I said. She started tearing up stuff, tearing up stuff in the house. Cutting up everything, slashing this, tearing up. She messed around. Look how small she is. Told my phone up. I said, well, you know what? I can, I'm not going to people do trying to get some, somebody to help me. I know she, I'm trying to get somebody to help me. So then nobody want to open the door. You did right. You did right. I'm, I'm trying, glad I'm trying, to hear that's help, what man. you did. Mm -hmm. Then nobody want to open the door. So I had to go. <laughs> Defendant Sophia Scott is being sued by her ex-boyfriend, who claims after an argument, Sophia vandalized his home, his furniture, and his clothing, and he has the video to prove it. So let's see what happened. You want to show oh, me yes, yes. on the video. That's, the, that's one of the rims right there. She picked up 20 inches and threw it like Donkey Kong, and it hit the ground, and man, it hit the out. With that, that's some, some of my clothes right there. I'm gonna get close to it, we're gonna see how she ripped up all, look, that's, one, that's her side. She took everything, cleaned everything hers out. She, everything out, came back, slashed up all my shirts, my shoes, my calluses, my, she tore up everything, my speakers. She tore my speakers up. She tore everything. I got, I got pictures I had with my daughter when she was a little kid until she got grown that I don't have no, she took everything from me. Yeah. Everything from me. Everything. Everything. Mm. Ma'am, what do you Beach say? Beach my hats this? up and all that. What do you say to this, ma'am? Okay, on the speakers, yes, I ripped it off. Mm -hmm. The the clothes, yes, I did rip it off. Um, first of all, he's doing the wrong story. The whole story. I don't was care wrong. what the story is. Why did you begin destroying his property? Because he was nagging with me. Okay. He because kept he nagging, was nagging with me. He mm -hmm. kept nagging with me. After that, I went outside to cool off so he could cool off. He broke my phone 
And then it got to the fact where I slept on the couch and I was staying there and he was there arguing with me while I'm going to sleep because I had to work the next morning. He went and got a bucket in the bathroom and put water in there and poured it all on me. Did in you my do that, room. sir? No, Your Honor. Okay. Um, let's get to your counterclaim, ma'am. 2000 for emotional distress. How does he owe you for that? Because of the fact that I had to go through with this man. He, I hit me, he targeted me, he put me down. Okay, tell me about the uh, assaults that you're alleging. When did he hit you? Um, he hit me um, in June 2014. Okay, did you That's, call the police? I didn't call the police because of the yeah. fact that- How did he hit he, you? How did, where did he hit you and how, where, where were you all at? Uh, we was living at my mom's house. He got in an argument with me and I speak how I wanted to speak, mm -hmm. and then it got to the fact that he didn't like it, and mm -hmm. he hit me. Okay, swung and hit you? Swung, or? hit me, hit me in my stomach, my side. He hit you more than once? More than once. Mm -hmm. All right, so you let that go? Y'all got, you know, you kind of put that behind you? I, I tried right. to let what, that What other me. time? I'm sorry? What other time did um, he hit when you? It, in the beginning when we was together, and it was, was the- was when? I would say in three years. Three years before that. Yes, sir. All right. Those are the only two times? Yes, sir. All right. And, um, <laughs> sir, did this happen? No, Your Honor. You never I, hit her in June of 14? No, Your Honor. I have proof. And look, I got a proof Hold right on. here. You have what? I got proof right here. Pop on you that. You have there. proof what? Proof right here, saying what she's saying is wrong before the fact that. Proof from whom? When the day I called the police again. Let's see it. I'm in there asleep, and I, and I, put, I try to put an injunction against her. I try to put an injunction against her, and they denied my injunction, saying I didn't have enough proof. Petitioner has failed to allege the facts, and, but this is uh, and you still living June with me? 14th. The Reserve of Rosemont Apartment, Sophia Scott had called the police while I was asleep and told the police officers lies that could have had me locked up. Sophia Scott has been breaking my stuff. Do you have anything where you uh, reached out to the police regarding the June event. Because he was controlling. Do you, ma'am, or not? No, sir. Okay, he does. Where he reached out to law enforcement about you, and you, by your own admission, you destroyed his property. So I'm going to dismiss your claim for emotional distress because you showed me no evidence. <laughs> 5000 for the plaintiff. Your claim is dismissed. Thank That's you, Your make this thing over with so he can leave me alone. I, I've been through too much stress, too much worries with this man. I've been on his side for the longest and all he was doing is targeting me and targeting me. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm done with it. Why ain't in jail for all this So She tried to make up something, got caught in the act. Sex dog, get paid today. Whoever get with you, I'm scared for him. Whoever get with you, boy, I better watch out. Cause she will hurt you and the police will be all around.